we will now discuss the solution of a problem from the section analysis and the problem is on continuous maps from r square to r and uh, such questions are from the functions of several variables this question has appeared in csir net national eligibility test held on 26th november 2020 it is from the section b and it carries 3 marks the problem is which of the following statements is true option 1 there are at most countably many continuous maps from r square to r option 2 there are at most finitely many continuous subjective maps from r square to r option 3 there are infinitely many continuous injective maps from r square to r option 4 there are no continuous bijective maps from r square to r now we will now consider the statement that is given in the option 1 it states there are at most countably many continuous maps from r square to r we will now give a counter example for this for each c belongs to the set of real numbers define a function f suffix c from r square to r defined by f c of x comma y is equal to c that is f c is a con is a constant function from r square to r let capital f be the set of all such functions then f is equivalent to r that is capital f is in bijection with the set of real numbers therefore cardinality of f is equal to cardinality of r and the cardinality of r is c therefore f is uncountable note that each function of f is a constant function and so it is a continuous function why every con constant function is a continuous function so therefore f is uncountable and each function of f is uh, a continuous function thus uh, there exists uncountably many continuous maps from r square to r therefore the option 1 is not true note we will now consider yet another example which is a counter example for both the options 1 and 2 we will discuss about that example and the options 1 and 2 in the next slides option 1 for each k belongs to r k not equal to 0 define a function f suffix k from r square to r defined by f k x of x comma y is equal to k x let f be the set of all such functions then f is equivalent to the set of all real numbers minus the singleton set consisting of the single element 0 that is f is in bijection with r minus the singleton set 0 this implies the cardinality of f is equal to the cardinality of r minus the singleton 0 that is equal to the cardinality of r that is equal to cardinality of r is c that is continuum therefore f is uncountable let f k be any function from f let a comma b be an arbitrarily chosen point in r square and we will show that f k is continuous at a comma 
b to show that limit x comma y tends to a comma b of f of k of x comma y is equal to limit x comma y tends to a comma b of k x that is same as limit x tends to a of k of x that is equal to k a that is equal to f the value of a comma b under f k that is f of k at a comma b so this shows that f k is continuous at a comma b since a comma b is an arbitrarily chosen point of r square f k is continuous on r square so thus this shows f k is continuous function from r square to r so thus each function of f is continuous so f since f is uncountable there exists uncountably many continuous maps from r square to r thus the option 1 is not true in the option 1 there are at most countably many so we have now f is uncountable set consisting of continuous maps from r square to r so the option 1 is not true now let's consider the statement given under option 2 there are at most finitely many continuous surjective maps from r square to r we have capital f is a set of all fk functions from r square to r where fk of x comma y is equal to k times xk belongs to r k not equal to 0 we have already seen that f is uncountable and each function of f is uh, continuous we claim each function of f is surjective for that let fk be an arbitrarily chosen function of f that is fk r square to r defined by fk of x comma y is equal to kx k belongs to r k not equal to 0 let r be an arbitrary chosen element of r of r to show that fk is surjective we have to find a pre image for r so then there exists an ordered pair r by k comma y belongs to r square such that fk of r by k comma y is equal to k times x that is k times r by k k k cancels is equal to r and and k is being not equal to 0 that k sitting in the denominator will not pose any problems to us so thus for each r belongs to capital r we have a pre image r by k comma y in r square so this shows that uh, the function fk is surjective so fk being in an arbitrary function of capital f each function of f will be surjective thus each function of f is surjective therefore there exists uncountably many continuous surjective maps from r square to r this shows the option 2 is not true in the option 2 it is given there are at most finitely many but we have uncountably many therefore the option 2 is not true let's consider the statement given under option 3 there are infinitely many continuous injective maps from r square to r let f be a function from r square to r be any continuous map we'll now show that there are no continuous injective maps from r square to r for this assume that f is injective since r square is connected and f is continuous image of f 
is equal to f of r square is a connected subset of r who are the connected subsets of r they are intervals so that is an interval i say now we read once again since r square is connected and f is continuous and injective image of f is equal to f of r square is connected and it will be non empty because of injectiveness and non empty connected subsets of r who are they they are intervals so injectiveness we have used let r be an interior point of the image of f that is the interval i then there exists a point a comma b belongs to r square such that f of a comma b is equal to r yes but read once again then there exists a unique point a comma b belongs to r square f of ab is equal to r because f is injective because f is injective this point will be unique now observe that the set a is equal to r square minus the singleton set consisting of the single element a comma b now this set a is equal to r square minus the singleton set ab is connected in r square it is known since f is continuous and injective f of a is equal to i minus singleton r must be connected must be connected this is a contradiction why because f of a is equal to i minus singleton r is not an interval so this contradiction tells you that your assumption that f is injective is false thus there are no continuous injective maps from r square to r thus the option 3 is not true finally we consider the statement given under option 4 option 4 says there are no continuous bijective maps from r square to r assume the contrary that is there are continuous bijective maps from r square to r this implies there are continuous injective maps from r square to r why because bijective implies and implied by injective plus surjective but we have already seen there are no continuous injective maps from r square to r therefore it's a contradiction a contradiction to the fact that there are no continuous injective maps from r square to r which we have proved in the uh, under the option 3 therefore there are no continuous bijective maps from r square to r therefore the option 4 is true and we have seen the options 1 2 3 are false are not true whereas the option 4 is true our final answer is option 4 is true so that is the discussion of the solution of the problem from the section analysis and the problem is on continuous maps from r square to r i hope that you have understood the solution of this problem i wish you all the best thank you